Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to another video of Triple Grace. My name is Michael, I am the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Past Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is polarization. Brothers and sisters, another cornerstone of the masterpiece of the end time is to understand the topic of polarization. Because that is exactly what is happening over the last seven years. Polarization. Polarization in the world, or what we call in the kingdom, separation. Separation between good and evil for the kingdom of God, and polarization in the world. Brothers and sisters, how do you think a war will start? A war will start in that moment, when you have two parties. One party is, is suffering a lot, or seems to suffer a lot, and a and that suffering party will then say, I do not care about the other party anymore, the other nation anymore, it is only us, but not them. Um, I will give you an example. When a leader in a nation will say, I will build our nation again, even on the cost of other nations, then that is pure polarization. When this come to pass, then war are imminent. Then wars are imminent, brothers and sisters. And we have seen it over the last seven years, a very strong polarization in the nations. Leaders were rising up, who were putting their nation absolutely first, without thinking about United Nations, without thinking about nations coming together, helping one another, only them and their nation. That is a very strong polarization that was brought forth here in the world by the enemy. Because he knows once he brings forth this strong polarization, the next step are wars. Then nation can rise against nation. In the moment when you have this rift between the nations, when you say, okay, my nation is much better, much more important than the other nations, then wars are imminent. We have seen it the beginning of World War II was exactly out of a, a problem of polarization. Germany had lost the First World War and the other nation who were the victors, instead to put Germany into their, into their plan, they kept Germany out. And so Germany suffered a lot, the people in Germany suffered a lot at that time. And then Adolf Hitler came and said, okay, I'm going to make Germany strong again. And we don't care about anybody else. We don't care about the plan that these people have brought forth, what contract we have signed. We just build Germany first. We don't care about any other nation. And that was leading then direct into the Second World War. That was pure polarization. And another important point is, you must desensify people, I don't know if that is the right word, uh, you must reduce their sense about death. If you want to start a war, then people should get used to death. Otherwise there would be a lot of opposing forces when you say, okay, we want to start a war. Then people say, no, 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 there are a lot of people will die. But once you have gone through a period, like it was just before the Second World War, the First World War, so people were used to, to have relative died, to people have died in great numbers. So that issue of, of the, the sensibility to death was not there. Plus the polarization that all led to the Second World War. Now, the enemy, through all this what he has brought forth, the toxin and everything, he has brought forth a lot of death in the world. That also reduced the, the sensitivity of the people towards death. You are confronted with death numbers every day in newspapers, on the TV, on every star, everywhere, in discussion with your friends, families, whatever. Many families, almost all families, somehow are con connected to, to death over these last seven years. So they are used to hear about death. 
that is a pre-requirement for an upcoming war. So that you're not anymore saying, oh yes, we are used to death, death was there, and there, of course there will be some casualty in another war, but it will bring great advantages for us, that is a polarization, and us first, and then the other one very far behind us. That is a mixture for wars, and that is the reason also why the next level is coming up, where we have the sealed tribulation with wars and rumors of wars, because that is the the, the the point why you had the first seven years. The first seven years was in the spirit. It's a spiritual preparation for the spiritual and physical with the wars coming in seals. Your senses for death were removed or reduced and great polarization was brought forth. And the third point is laws were changed. The whole world has changed. Almost every nation has changed the laws and a lot of power was given now to the governments. That is also a requirement for war. The rulers would be able to decide about war. All these requirements that we saw at the beginning of the Second World War is now fulfilled again. And so when people are talking now about uh, Russia entering Ukraine, there is not so much of an outcry than it would have been before, before the seven years where you have all this senses removed for death and all this polarization. Now there are much more people, oh, I don't care. It's not so important. We know people are dying, people will die in the war also. That was always like that. So the enemy has prepared the world for the next stage. The stage is clearly prepared, brothers and sisters and wars will follow. And that one, the smaller wars, nations against nations, will then come to the World War III. It is because of this polarization. That is also a cornerstone. Now, I talk a lot now about the polarization of the enemy side. There is, of course, a positive and a good polarization in that way, what we call in the kingdom of God, the separation between good and evil that you are taken out of the world, Babylon, and the, and the churches for the kingdom of God. That is also a kind of polarization. Now we say, now we belong to the kingdom of God, not belonging to the world. But that is in a good way, because we are not wanting to start a war. Also, you will see that polarization for the kingdom of God is also leading to the war between the sons of light and the sons of darkness. So it is well, it is imminent that wars will begin, in the spiritual and in the physical. That's the sealed tribulation. That's what you read about the sealed tribulation in the in the book of Revelation. You see that that there you have the wars, you have war pestilences, you have famines. All this coming because of nations against nation, brother against brothers, and sister against sister. That is all because of polarization. You have seen it in the US, for example, with Donald Trump. I will make America great again. That was polarization. Preparing the people. Preparing the world. It was in contrast to what was before that time with Obama, who tried to bring the nations together in the new world order. We talked about it, that this will come again. You will see it in the masterpiece. All will come again. There will be more and more polarization. And especially when we come to the last trumpet, the trumpet tribulation, mid trumpet, that is a very, very, very strong polarization between the kingdom of God and the kingdom of Satan. But this is a requirement. Wars cannot start until you weaken the system. If the people have a very strong feeling about death, because they are not used to it, then how will you ever start a war? People will say, no, because people can die. But now we had three, four years, well, let's say three years, three years of death number every day with us. That has reduced the senses and the feeling about death very much to the low point. And at the same time, Many have suffered in their nations, 
Many leaders have risen and said, no, we have to build our country first. We don't care about the United Nations. We don't care about the European nation. We don't care about others. We come first. Us first and then them. That is a polarization also that can then lead to war. That is what Putin is bringing forth right now by saying, no, Russia first and the NATO and this allies are a threat to us. That was exactly as it was beginning of the Second World War. When Hitler said, no, this Allied thinks what they have for the contract is a threat to Germany. So we have to do something against it. And so World War II started. And World War III will start in a similar way. Putin is bringing it forth. Clear polarization. Russia first and everything else is a is an enemy. And so you have, you have to invade countries to, to make a, a, a block somewhere on that line to Russia. Also, if you look at it logically, when Russia invades Ukraine, they are again with the NATO together, right? So what difference does that make? Really? It does not make any sense, but that is not the point of polarization. Point of polarization is that the people in Russia will feel, yes, Putin is our leader and we will do that. We want our land back, we want our size back, we want our importance back. Polarization. The same happened in other countries. Belarus, the same happened in uh, uh, Kazakhstan, everywhere else where you see it, even in Europe itself. Leaders are coming to power that are much more conservative that are saying, okay, my country first and then the rest can go wherever they want to go. Polarization. That will lead to war. Brothers and sisters, that is a cornerstone of this masterpiece. It shows clearly, shows clearly that this is a moment. The end times are the times when yeah, when the gray, gray zones are removed, when the importance of the United Nations and European communities are diminishing, when, they, when everyone is standing for themselves now. But that has to come because it's, it, the God declares the end from the beginning. And in the beginning is also said that, that there is a clear opposing force between good and evil. And that has to be polarized so that it comes to the final battles so that it can be cleared once and for all that the good side will be victorious over the bad side. Unfortunately, that means wars. Unfortunately, that means the death of many people, innocent ones, who will fall because of the power play of the rulers in the world. And because they are not standing with the kingdom of God where the Father will show mercy. And when the people will die in the war, it is not guaranteed that they will then go to heaven. But some of them will even go into the lake of fire. So, what I'm telling you with this cornerstone is that that we saw in the last seven years, which represents the spiritual side, we saw a clear preparation of our minds in polarization and in, in reducing our senses for death through the sickness that were there, so that we are getting prepared to accept much easier a war proposal. And war is coming. So we have war on three major fronts that I can see. Putin, Ukraine. China, Taiwan, that is the same. In China, there's Xi Jinping, who has made him the president for life, like a pope, president for life. That fellow is also saying China first. And he's pushing China everywhere. And he said, China must unite with Taiwan. War is coming. That's no question about that. And then the third one is, of course, the Arab world where you see a clear polarization between Iran, Syria, the allies of Russia, Turkey, and the opposition force of Israel. That will also explode very soon. And I believe that the third one is the one that starts the first wars. And then it will, then maybe Ukraine will follow, then maybe Taiwan will follow, and all this will then lead up to the Third World War. But it is starting now because of the polarization. 
Brothers and sisters, I hope you understand now what the enemy was doing in the last seven years and how successful he was. Talk now about people about this. Tell me what they are telling you. Oh, we see them. You see many people have died, but that was always like that. They are, they, they are sensibility for death has reduced almost to zero. And when you say, okay, how important is your country? They say, oh, very important. We must rebuild it. After all this, we must rebuild it. Very strong polarization. Exactly as it was before the Second World War. Brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, we are at the beginning of the next seven years, what is the sealed tribulation, and we will see wars so very, very soon. Everything that is written will be fulfilled. Brothers and sisters, let us stand with the kingdom. Let us be separated from this world. Let us not be part of New Egypt, but let us be part of New Zion, because we have a merciful God. And also he separates us in a way so that we as the sons of light can stand against the sons of daughter. We, yes, the sons of daughter, the sons of darkness. We will also have the mercy of the Father always with us. And even if we will die for the cause, we know that our destiny is an everlasting life. And that's the difference to Satan's kingdom on earth. May you most likely, when you die there as just a worldly person not related to the kingdom of God, you will just go to the lake of fire. Don't do that. Stand for the kingdom. But wars are coming. Brothers and sisters, be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.